Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is SJ, and I'm an adult doll and toy collector who just wants to talk about dolls and toys. And I am back today with more of the Briar Mystery Grab Bag boxes because uh -huh, me and LA have become obsessed with them. We love them. So I have one box and then this giant box. Um, I think I know what's in this one because I did order three other things besides the mystery box. So we're going to unbox them and see what we got. So let's get into it. All right. We are going to take a look at the smaller box first because I kind of know what's in it um if i remember correctly but normally i would do this with la because she knows that i ordered it um but she doesn't know that one of the things i ordered her is a, a surprise but normally i would do this with her however she is in cheerleading and her cheerleading team is now on like super training mode because they're getting ready for competition next month so they've been working a lot on stunts and tumbling so she comes home and she is like dead tired she's like i want a hot shower i want to eat i want to go to bed and then the mom and me is like well don't forget to do your homework in between all that and oh she gets mad at me but she is sore when she comes home she is tired when she comes home so i'm not gonna pull her in here and be like let's make a video um she does enjoy making videos with me but <laughs> right now she is just she is tired Right, what we got, what we got, we'll be able to switch over sheet. You don't even see that. All right, so this one is specifically for LA. She is very much into would you call them decorator? I mean, I feel like this one that I'm about to show you isn't necessarily considered decorator, but I kind of consider it decorator. She is very much into those ones. She loves the bright colors, the fun, all of that. She's not always necessarily into the normal looking horses I guess but we got this this is the 90s throwback this is giving me very much like Lisa Frank vibes um I grew up in like the 90s when Lisa Frank was like all the rage and I heard it's coming back so that's fun but this is just you know your basic little freedom series or classic series horse but it is like leopard print. It is all her favorite colors. So I know she is going to be super excited when she sees this. This is the back. Probably backwards for you, but there's a barcode if you are interested. I think this was like... Oh, well, it doesn't tell me. But uh, I know it wasn't that expensive. I want to say it was like maybe 19 because they were having a sale. But, uh... It says 90s throwback, grab your trapper keeper, some gel pens. Do you remember gel pens? I was obsessed with gel pens in elementary school. All of my work and notes were written in gel pen. And then the teacher got sick of it and said, I am old. I have old eyes. I can't see all that shiny stuff. Please stop writing in gel pens. And then I learned that if you chew on the end of it and then suck in while you're chewing on it you suck in all the gel and my teeth and my lips were covered in gel one day and I never picked up a gel pen again but and put your hair up in a scrunchie because this decorator model is bringing the 90s back 90s throwback is a vibrant mix of bright turquoise purple and pink that's sure to make your inner 90s child feel like totally excited with pearly white markings and a bold leopard pattern running down his body 90s throwback isn't afraid to stand out from the crowd love it <laughs> so she is definitely going to be excited when she sees us and then I got some of these so these are called pony pouches again let me look at the sheet and see because I don't even remember what I just said <laughs> so these are called traditional pony pouches so these are made for the traditional model horses and it comes in a set of two so right down here you can write your name who's in it all that fun stuff and these are very very nice um i've seen tutorials where you can make your own but your girl don't have a sewing machine and i ain't hand sewing so i got some pony pouches i think these were like 19.99 and you get two so i was like hey i'm getting two so i think that's a good deal <laughs> the inside is lined very very soft 
So what a lot of people do when they get the pony pouches is if you do photography with your horses or you travel or you go to Briarfest or and you do the shows at Briarfest or if you travel to other places and do shows, these are really good to put your horses in so they don't get scuffed, rubbed or anything like that. And we do next year, we are planning on going to Briarfest next year, like not this year, but next year we do plan on going and we do want to show one of our horses around that time so i went ahead and just got these that way i don't gotta worry about it come next year even though that's like months away but it's always good to be prepared because why not and then this i got for me because i thought it was a beautiful mold and everything so this is Tis the Law. It is based off of a real horse. And I believe it's a racehorse. Yes, the making of a successful racehorse. Yes, so Tis the Law is based off of a real racehorse. And I just thought the sculpt and everything was really beautiful. So that's why I got that for me. Uh, he was, I think, on sale for $40. So if you're interested, whoa. <laughs> If you're interested there is the barcode but that was everything that was in this small box like these are the items that i ordered along, along with the grab bag so now we're gonna put these to the side and take a look at what is in that grab bag because i am super excited all right here is the ginormous the huge grab bag box now when i ordered the first grab bag box they did not have this 2023 Easter grab bag listed because if they did I would have gotten the Easter one instead of the elf one but it's fine um so when I went on to the bride website again to just kind of look and see if anything was on sale they had the Easter one listed I don't know why it says 2023 I don't really know but it's fine they had two sizes you could get like the basic one which was $50 or you could get the deluxe one which was 100 I went ahead and got the deluxe one because I was like why not let's get the bigger one see how that one is because we already know what like a basic one looks like so let's get the bigger one now for the grab bags the grab bags are basically briar's way of getting rid of an overabundance of items that they have or stuff that is in the warehouse that's not selling well kind of thing and honestly i don't mind i think it's a freaking amazing idea and i think more companies Mattel, MGA, should do stuff like this, like offer a grab bag for like $100 or whatever and fill it with a bunch of stuff that you have an overabundance of that isn't selling well kind of thing. I think it's a cool idea and I think some more toy companies should do that. That's just my opinion. I don't know, but let's go ahead and open this up. Interested to see if we get a plush. Um, if you don't know, Briar kind of makes like these cute little like holiday themed plushes. I'm interested to see if we got an Easter one. I mean, I think the plushes are cute. I haven't exactly taken the dive to purchase one yet, but. All right. Remove the padding. Oh, got a magazine. So, they actually sell these on the website, like old issues of the magazines. And they're like $4 or something like that that you can buy. Now, this one is from 2018. So, yeah, they included this in the grab bag because they have an overabundance of these. But still, this is, I love looking at magazines, okay? I used to, this is something I used to do when I was younger is go to those, the grocery store or whatever and then just get lost in the rack of magazines. They don't have those anymore. And just look at, I loved looking at wedding dress magazines, so there's like a bunch of articles in here about horses and stuff like that like this one harley i want that model horse so and it's still available like you could purchase it but yeah so we got a little magazine that's fun we got an andalusian stable mate really pretty really like sparkly silvery white color and we got another stable mate this is the paint horse and that's fun because la likes the stable mates so want that oh what is this 
it's a little barn it is a little wooden stable playset six horses included and this is really nice i mean did we need another stable no um we got this one that i built and we have this one right here that i built they're briar but you had to put them together and then we have this blue one and then um another blue one that are exactly the same that i put together <laughs> so uh, but now we have one oops now we have one for our stable mates because i believe these are the stable mate size so that's fun this is cute all right next up we have oh sun catcher horses paint and play la just painted her unicorn one and loved it like that was great fun for her so these are sun catcher ones so i feel like they're more like gonna be like translucent paint for the sun to like go through you know like please tell me you guys know what a sun catcher is because i can't explain it well but again this has uh my froggy stuff favorites on it so again that's cool she must have done a collaboration with briar she is amazing like that's all i can say so that's cool so it comes with one two three four five horses that you can paint love it and in here another one and the fact that i have been wanting this and it is sold out on the website and it is sold out on amazon i love that i just got it in this grab bag so these are freedom series so smaller than the traditional bigger than the stable mates and it is the Spotted Wonders Mare in Full. Like, I've been wanting this one and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. Um, I could find it on Macari, but they weren't new in box and they wanted like $70 for them. No thank you. Love this. Been wanting this. So happy. And it is the, okay, is it called Nab? Nab stropper? knob stropper listen i'm not good at pronouncing stuff so but yeah but they are known for their spotted coats and many different patterns so this i love this what is this okay this says equois necklace i could be saying that wrong but it's a pendant with nine interchangeable art tiles and a choice of two necklace styles. I'm intrigued opening it right now. Okay, so I took the plastic wrap off of the, the little tin. And this tin is like reminding me of the Altoids case. So I kind of like that. So, and this little bubble wrap right here, there are two necklaces. So we have a little ball ball chain type one and we have a cord type one and there we go sorry guys so there's this little pendant in here and it's got a horse on it okay so this one says barn girl on it and then we have all of these ones right here so this one says dream big blaze your own trail live love ride be a unicorn poetry in motion which i think is like uh really beautiful because they did have a stable mates collection of horses and different uh poses and stuff like that and called it poetry in motion this one with a horse jumping that says just get over it like that is my motto with everything like just just get over it like move on okay focus on something else and then this one that has a peace love and horseback riding kind of thing there's a little knot right there in the back you would just push that one out and put the other tile in this is actually really cute um i would wear it i have no shame but i would not wear like half of these like the one that says barn girl i don't have a barn 
so I wouldn't wear that one but I do like the one that says just get over it so I would wear that one we are down to the last two items that are in this box I can't see what they are all I see is like yellow boxes so I'm just gonna what is this one? Oh, uh -huh. so this one is checkers this is a you know what it doesn't say if it's traditional oh it's traditional series this is a traditional his name is checkers and it's a mountain trail champion this is based on a real horse too i love that so here he is oh i love him he's really pretty though i am noticing that a lot of my horses are guys i need to get some mares up in here yeah majority of our horse collection is dudes we need some we need some girlies up in here but so this is checkers love this this is really pretty really pretty horse all right in the last one i'm gonna pull it out Listen, Briar, you have included two items now in this box that I have personally been wanting. First one being the spotted, uh, spotted wonders. And now you've included Pepto Boone's Mall. The box is a little damaged right here, but I don't keep them in boxes. So, and don't say oh, they lose their value if you take them out of the box. I'm not. I don't collect these for them to have value. I collect them because I like them and stuff like that. So value doesn't matter to me. So this is again, based on a real horse and I'm not sure. Uh, cutting horses. I'm not sure what a cutting horse is. I think it has something to do with cattle I could be wrong, but Pepto Boone's Mall. So pretty. Like, he is on my wish list on Amazon because I love his coloring, love the mold. So, again, uh, another one that I have been wanting. And it's also traditional. So, love that. Love that. Okay, so we got about nine items in this grab bag mystery box, whatever you want to call it. And I spent $100. And I think we got our money's worth. Again, like I said in the first one, I think we got our money's worth. And I think, again, with the $100 one, we got our money's worth. I didn't get a plushie, but that's okay. Because that just now, that's just the universe telling me that I just need to break down and buy one of the plushies if I love them so much. So, but we got two traditional horses, which traditional horses alone are usually 40 to 50 dollars so two of them and we got a freedom we've got stable mates yeah and a cute necklace i mean yeah i think i got my money's worth i love it i really think the grab bag if you're buying it as a gift for someone or even just a gift to yourself because it is like a mystery you don't know what you're getting they put in the description that it's going to be filled with like stable mates traditional freedom you know stuff like that so you kind of have an idea of what's in it but you don't know like what you're gonna get which I really like I think is so exciting and I think more companies should do grab bags I love them so yeah love this love it <laughs> But let me know down below what you guys think of this 2023 Easter grab bag. Um, don't know why it wasn't listed when I bought my first grab bag and why it's it was just listed now. Maybe because it's getting close to Easter because Easter is in March this year, I guess. I don't know. But let me know down below what you guys think of this one. Do you think the basic one is better or do you think the <laughs> deluxe one is better? I think of the word though you know with the christmas one we got the elf one that was 50 dollars. they had something christmas in it i'm noticing that this one the easter one there wasn't anything easter themed in it that's why i was i thought like we would get like an easter plush from last year but we didn't 
and that's okay with me. So yeah. Anyways, I love it. But let us know, or let me know, because LA is not in the video, but let me know which item we got is your favorite. All that fun stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video. Love you. Bye.